Welcome back to Making Music in Minecraft, part four. Now in the last episode, I remade FL Studio's step sequencer right here. Now quickly for anyone who didn't see the last episode, you basically just <laughs> draw in where you want your beat and the machine will take care of the rest. So a little something like that. Oh yeah. So today I want to build on this idea here and I want to come up with a two octave piano roll somewhere over here. So it is basically just gonna be using the exact same mechanics as this machine here. So basically the piston just covers up the note block and then when you want the note to play, you just flick the switch, pulls the piston off and it allows the note block to play. But I'm also gonna be trying to shrink it down as much as I can just because it is gonna take up a lot of room. But before I actually start worrying about any of the mechanics, I think I actually need to plan out how this thing is gonna look. So like in this machine here, I'm gonna have this step counter running along the bottom just like that. So I better just quickly put one of those together. I think I'm actually getting pretty fast at building them. And one there. I made it too long. Now I am gonna be making this a relatively short piano roll. It is only gonna be four bars. So that is looking all good to me. Let's just go ahead and wire it all up. Minecraft. Minecraft? Minecraft. 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 Do good, do good, do do good, do do, do. Actually, I'll just quickly put one of these little things in here as well. Boomity boomity boom. Speed. I'm actually pretty amazed with how fast I can actually do this stuff now. I've only been playing this for like two weeks, but I already feel pretty confident with it <laughs> as I say that. Okay. That is too fast. Ah, that should do. It's a little bit ugly, but it should be all right. That actually only took me like three minutes. I'm getting good at this. So now this is where things are going to start to get a little bit ugly. So for my individual keys, I think I'll just use white and black concrete. Actually, I think the first note of the note block isn't even C. I think it might be F sharp. And yeah, apparently it is F sharp. So I need to plan my entire piano roll around that. I just realized I was putting the notes way too close together. Okay, so in between each of these notes, I need to put some of that. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. This is not the best looking design ever, but I guess that it is gonna have to do for now. I can't really think of a way to shrink the circuit down so that the notes are right next to each other. Maybe if I can think of a method in the future to take care of that, I'll replace it all out, but yikes. <laughs> okay, that should be it. That looks stupid. It's way taller than it is long. <laughs> now in between each of these lights, I think I might just use whatever color the key is just to make it a bit easier to see where I actually am. Yeah, that looks all right. Just a bit short, but that should be all right. <laughs> that looks kind of bad. <laughs> wait, can I just go like, oh wait, no, because if I, Wait, no, that's not gonna work. Ah, I thought I was onto something. I think I might actually need to put another block in between these notes because if I keep using this stuff here, it is gonna get a little bit confusing because there is white keys and then there's white blocks. Doesn't look too good. What color to go for? Maybe we'll go for some yellow. Might throw some orange in there. That is looking very bright. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Maybe blue and purple. That might look cool. Did I do that backwards? I think I did that backwards. Purple there. No, that still doesn't look very good. I don't really like the way the concrete looks. It looks too flat. Maybe I could go for some wood. How does that look? Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Very subtle, but I think it works really well. Yeah, okay, I think that is the look that I'm gonna go for. That looks pretty good. I think I put everything in the wrong place. I might need to move all the notes over one. Okay. Oh, that looks so stupid. <laughs> that looks horrible. It looks so confusing. I don't think this is gonna make it any easier to actually make music. Oh no, that is way too big. <laughs> it just looks stupid. Oh, but anyway, we have the design. Now we just need to go ahead and wire up every single individual note. Now I am not actually too sure if 
this old design is going to fit. Now that I think about it, it's a much bigger gap than this is going to be. I didn't think this through. Actually, ah, this seems like it's working perfectly fine. Ah, easy. So now I just need to place some note blocks onto there. I may as well set it up with this clock as well, just so I can actually test it out properly, just like that. Ah. Wasn't meant to use the sticky. That is better. Now I think I'll just put some dirt under there as a placeholder. Hmm. <laughs> Yuck. So I think I just need to copy these over to every single note and go through and change each note block. And then I can just copy that entire thing across to all of these steps. This is going to look extremely messy <laughs> once it's all set up. I'm still worried that it's just going to lag. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Oh no. But anyway, I have the first note set up. Now I just need to copy this all the way over here and then I think we're pretty much going to be done. So there's one piston that didn't copy over. And I can't seem to find it. <laughs> oh, this is impossible. There it is. Hey, there we go. It is all done. That looks so cool. <laughs> Oh, and you have to remember that is only four bars. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now I haven't actually tried it out yet. I'm not too sure if it is working properly. So let's just go ahead and put in a chord. Hey. Nice, it works. The layout is a little bit confusing, but either way it is working perfectly fine. I can't hear it when I go all the way out though. <laughs> oh no. But I guess I never actually really have to look at the whole thing at once, so it should be alright. I mean, I have actually only tried it out with one chord so far, but that one chord is working, so it should be working fine. I'm not too sure if it is going to work when I load up this thing as well. I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> but anyway, now I think it's time to go through and actually start writing in a melody with it. It is going to be a very short melody. But that should be alright. But first I think I'll quickly turn off the piston sound just because there is so many pistons in here. It might be a little bit annoying. And now, where should we start? I think I might go for a bit of... That? Oh, that was easy. Actually, I could probably just change around this bottom note. Ooh. No, wrong one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, I can do this. <laughs> oh, that is good. It's pretty hard to move that fast though. I actually really like that though. I'm gonna try bringing some drums. Let's see if they work well together. Now, I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to hear both of these at the same time. <laughs> I can just hear them, but I can't move around. Hmm, I guess I could just dedicate one of these notes that I'm not going to use to drums just for now, just so that the song actually sounds good. I think in the future I might need to move the drum machine on top of the piano roll so that you can actually hear them at the same time. But for now I'll just use a very cheap solution. So I just need to put in some stone where these kick drums are. And that should be the last one. Whoops. Yeah. That is working. So I was going to stack up a snare next to this drum here, but I don't really have enough room because I'll actually be using this channel. So I might need to change these out for snares. Ah, oh, why do I keep getting the wrong one? So we're just going to need some sand. This one here. Oh no. <laughs> ah, that's a note block. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> that kind of works. <laughs> that should be all right. Now let's just grab some glass blocks and I'll just put in some of these wood block sounds. So these ones are going to go in there, there, Thank you. 
there. <laughs> that one took a really long time. And there. Now I just need to turn them on. Oh, that's ugly. I need to put up the pitch. That is sounding good. Let's just go and test out our bass line again. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. I wonder if there's any way that I could... Could I go like this? And then just mute the track that I don't want. So I could just set up all the different tracks for my bass notes and I could just cycle between them. I think that would work. I just need to figure out how to do it. So, I guess we could actually just put some comparators here. Bring you in. Ah, I forgot to mention, I got a new skin. <laughs> Look, it's me with big teeth. <laughs> I gotta say a big thank you to Andrew Stark on Twitter for sending this skin over to me. I like it a whole lot. I mean, I do really like Steve, but I gotta use this. This is just too cool. Anyway, where were we? Comparator. Put that there. Oh no, that's added on a delay. I think I might need to set this one up differently. So I think I might need to make this one go all the way up here. Oh, this is gonna be a mess, but I don't really have time to make it look nice. So put that on three. Put the comparator in there, and I just have to get an input for the comparator. That can just come around here like that. Oh, that is ugly. <laughs> oh well. It is gonna have to do, I just really wanna get this idea out. So I should be able to go like that. Want that one to play. Yeah, that is gonna work. Yeah, okay. So now I just need to do this for the other baseline notes. And I think I can make it look a bit nicer for the other ones. This is just to see if it worked properly. So it was actually the next day I ran into a few different problems with my machine. So I put in all of the different mute switches for my different baseline tracks. But as I was walking around testing them out, I realized that they're too far away from the main melody, which is further up the piano roll, which means that I couldn't hear it at all. The only things that I could hear was the drum track and the bass track. So what I had to do was I had to build this massive platform <laughs> right here just to trigger the different bass lines. I just color coded it all, so if I wanna swap it around, it'll be a lot easier to keep track of everything because it could get quite confusing. But now everything is finally working. I should trigger that and it will start playing. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of effort for such a simple thing. So I know all of the notes that I'm gonna be using for my bass line, but I might also switch up the rhythm a little bit. That is a bit basic. And I might also swap out the sound for the woodblock sound. The woodblock sound which is the bass sound, not the glass block. That is the wood block sound. What? <laughs> so the track that I want to change at the moment is going to be the yellow one here. But while I'm over here, I may as well show you my new setup for triggering the comparators. So I just have this piston with a redstone block on the end. It works really well. It's a whole lot cleaner. I am quite annoyed that it took me this long to figure it out, but that is all right. So I might just swap out all of these notes with the wood block and then I can go through and choose my new rhythm for the bass line. I could actually probably automate this with some pistons and just push the wood block out of the way because there's nothing under there that should play the piano sound as well. Maybe I'll save that for another video. <laughs> Let's just get this song made. So now what rhythm do I want to go with? Let's try. Should we go for that? That kind of works. Might just quickly swap out all the other baseline tracks and then I can test out the whole thing. Put another wood block in there. Put another wood block in there. Put another wood block. block, wood block, 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 block. So there's all the bass blocks placed in. Now we just need to put in the same rhythm. Why don't I turn this off? That's getting really annoying. Boom, boom, boom. Flawless. Oh, too easy. Okay, let's test out the different bass lines. See how they sound. The switch timing takes quite a while for it to kick in, so I need to be a lot faster with my switching. Oh wow, I need to be a whole lot faster. There we go. That sounds really good. That, that doesn't. What happened there? Why did it go out of time? 
How does that even happen? Anyway, that seems to be working all right for now. Let's go ahead and start bringing in a higher melody up here. I accidentally turned off the switches for the one yesterday and I can't remember what it was. So I think I have something in mind. Let's just <laughs> try understand how this layout works again. So I think my first note is just going to be an E. I'll go there as well. Nice. <laughs> So we'll go there and bump, 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 bump. Easy. That is sounding all right for now. Let's just test it out with the different bass lines. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, why does that one go out of time? I think I'm just not good enough at flicking these switches. Let's try it again. Oh, what? I'm liking that. Back to that one. Yeah, that doesn't really work, but it sounds pretty cool. Really like that though. I'm just not too sure about the sound that these notes are using up here. I might need to swap that out. But now the only question is, which sounds do I use? I think I might actually separate them between the higher notes and the lower notes, but I still don't know which sounds. So which sounds haven't I used before? I know I haven't used the banjo because that one sounded a bit weird. So which other ones are there? I think I've nearly used all of them, apart from the ice block. Don't like the ice block. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I have to go through and try to find them all. Actually, what is Pling? I don't know if I've used that one before. Glowstone. Definitely haven't used that. Let's try that one out. What even is Glowstone? I feel like I've never seen that before. Weird. Does it glow? Doesn't really look like it. Ah, oh, it does. It's really loud. Why is it so loud? That's too loud. <laughs> Let's not use that one. Hmm, maybe we should go for the banjo. I think that's the hay bale. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's try it out. It is sounding better than the bone block. I know that. <laughs> I think the only real issue that I have with this banjo sound is that the octave that it is playing on is too high. Sounds a bit weird. This is not a very good system. It's really hard to find which notes you need to swap out. That should be the last one. <laughs> Let's try it out with the bass. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> Go banjo. I think I might just need to swap out some of the harmony notes with the guitar sound so everything is not so high pitched. But apart from that, I think it sounds pretty decent once you bring in the bass line. <laughs> That's good. Oh, switching skills are bad. And there we go. So I just tried to cram as many different instruments into here as I could. I wanted to use ones that I hadn't really used before. I have even got an ice block in here somewhere, which I really don't like the sound of. I think it kind of works. And I just added in this really cheap looking orange line, which just controls the drums because I was about to play the finished song and I had no way to mute the drums. So I just put that in. Doesn't look too good, but at least it works. Anyway, after what seems like forever, I have finally finished off this beat. This ended up being a lot more complicated than I expected. I don't think it helped me in any way at all, but at least it looks really cool and I had a whole lot of fun putting it together. So anyway, here's my completed song made with my piano roll inside of Minecraft. Enjoy.
we go. Piano roll inside of Minecraft. That was a whole lot of fun. Now I think my music making machines are starting to get a little bit too big. I think with the next video, I might need to focus on making the smallest one possible because this is getting out of control. This is really getting out of control. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of making music in Minecraft. Make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments and I will see all of you in the next couple of days for episode five. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.